Today, buckle up for one of the strangest space sagas ever. If you're here for a story about an actual interstellar visitor breaking all the rules and maybe a few laws of physics along the way, you're in the right place. Because right now, the whole world is talking about one cosmic rebel, 3i slash Atlas, the interstellar comet with a truly impossible ANTI tail. Hey, cosmic explorers. First off, thank you, yes, you, clicking this video, double tapping, subscribing, and sharing your wild theories and cosmic memes. Every single tap keeps this space channel's fuel tanks topped up and propels us deeper into the universe's biggest mysteries. Seriously, your energy is what keeps us defying gravity and the algorithm. Let's start with the basics. What's this anti-tail business, and why is it making scientists lose their collective minds? Well, everyone knows comets have tails, right? Classic science book diagram. I see nucleus plus coma plus glorious tail pointing away from the sun. Why away from the sun? Solar wind, sunlight, radiation pressure, all the invisible stuff racing outward from our neighborhood star. It pushes all that comet gas and dust backwards, always the same direction. Predictable as a breakfast cereal ad. Until now. Enter three I slash Atlas marching onto the scene straight out of a cosmic road movie. Already famous for being a visitor from a galaxy far, far away, no, not Star Wars, actual extrasolar system, our new comet friends started showing off something nobody was expecting, a second tail, but not just any tail, one that appears to point right back towards the sun itself. That's right. It breaks the great rule of cosmic bad hair days. If a comet is supposed to be running from the sun with its tail tucked behind, this one is moonwalking straight back towards the heat. Now, before you call the science police, here's the twist. Anti-tails actually have appeared on other comets, but never so large, clear, and stubborn as with 3 I slash Atlas. Usually, what happens is that when Earth's view lines up perfectly with the comet's orbital plane, we get a neat little visual effect, some big dust grains, basically too heavy for the solar wind to move much, get left along the comet's orbital path. If we happen to be looking along that line, it can look like a tail going the other way, a reverse ponytail. But the scale of this one and the timing baffled observers everywhere. The latest images, yes, those new images from major observatories, showed the anti-tail shining almost as bright as the main tail, with every big scope from Hawaii to Chile pointed at this cosmic show-off. Astronomers scrambled for alternate explanations. Harvard professors started running new models between coffee breaks. NASA said, please hold while we reboot our understanding. And I bet at least one grad student tried to plug the anti-tail math into ChatGPT. Cue the confusion. Some said, it's all perspective, calm down, while others warned, nope, the dust is legitimately going sunward, not just orbit aligned. But with high-res spectra, infrared, and ultraviolet data rolling in. The evidence piled up. The anti-tail is built from material ejected from the sunlit side of the comet, bulky particles that reflect sunlight dramatically, which then drift, backwards only because of their inertia. Imagine if you threw confetti out of your car window and, surprise, it started hovering next to you instead of flying away. It's that weird. For the visually inclined, picture the standard comet, brilliant coma at the front, dust and gas streaming behind. But now add a bright stream in front, pointing towards the sunrise, like the comet's own dramatic red carpet. Why does 3i slash Atlas get this special treatment? The answer hides in its chemistry. This comet isn't just a frozen snowball from the edge of our own solar system. Spectral analysis has revealed some truly wild stuff. Giant molecules of cyanogen, deadly stuff for us, but apparently normal out there unusual bands of nickel, and, for reasons still unknown, a stunning lack of good old iron. The proportions don't add up, suggesting this thing was cooked up in a star forge unlike anything in our neighborhood. Each particle tells a story from a far-flung star nursery. And the plot thickens. Computer simulations show the distribution of dust and jets from 3 I slash Atlas don't match typical comet models. If you try to plug the numbers into the same equations that work for comets like Halley or Neowise, the results basically laugh back at you. 
The anti-tail persists through big swings in solar activity and remains visible even as the comet approaches perihelion, a gravity-defying, textbook-shredding enigma. Just as astronomers started adapting, the world's ground-based telescopes reported something even weirder. The anti-tail shifted shape following a solar flare, but didn't vanish. Instead, its brightness intensified in lockstep with the sun's outbursts, an interaction never directly seen before. Some specialists wondered aloud, are we witnessing a new kind of comets on interaction? Is this an interstellar blueprint for how alien solar systems recycle cosmic dust? And you better believe the theories got wilder. Internet forums have everything, alien thrusters, space beacons, a mega molecule transmission array. The official answer? Sorry, nothing confirmed beyond dust and sunlight behaving badly. Between all these headlines, spaceship simulator accounts, and space agency press conferences, let's not forget the role of amateur skywatchers. Backyard astronomers posted time-lapse showing the anti-tail wax and wane night after night. Some even compared it to the horns of old mythological comets, causing panicked headlines from a few media outlets predicting, of course, the end is nigh. Spoiler, the end is not nigh, but your social media feed will survive. Meanwhile, a group out of Keck Observatory chased an even deeper mystery, cometary magnetic fields. Could the iron deficit of 3 i atlas mean it's less magnetically active, letting nickel take center stage in building big, heavy, sticky dust grains? These grains, the team argues, are the key to the anti-tail. Only in a low mag environment could so much nickel-based confetti clump together and resist the sun's push. It's like the comet's tail is a parade float held together by space duct tape. Let's bring it back for a second. Why should you care about a comet's backwards tail besides the clickbait title? Because every grain from this comet is a physical sample from a solar system beyond ours. Each weird molecule, each unexplainable jet, each shifting tail is a time capsule from a chapter of galactic history Earth has never witnessed. It's nonstop, mind-bending proof that what we call the rules of space are just local suggestions. Out there, all bets are off. As updates roll in, astronomers warn to expect more surprises. Some predict the anti-tail may split into multiple arms, Comet Atlas's little foretail. Others hope for new molecules to appear as the sun's heat cooks the comet's core. More than a few are betting this will land in the textbook as the comet that made us rewrite the chapter on anti-tails and interstellar dust. The cosmic punchline, as we chase this comet from Earth, our best instruments, some aboard satellites and space probes, are sending real-time analyses, sniffing for particles never before seen in our solar system. Some hope tiny grains will survive long enough to be picked up by our future missions, true souvenirs from another star. Let's wrap with the biggest wow factor. The anti-tail of 3 i atlas proves that the universe will always outweird us. The moment we think we've mapped it all, space throws a cosmic boomerang, one that glows, grows a tail in both directions, and makes us all gawk up at the night sky. Let's break it down for the folks at home. Most comets play by the rules. They race around the sun, and as they get closer, sunlight cooks up their icy cores, releasing clouds of dust and gas. Those particles get blown backwards, away from the sun, by solar radiation and wind. So, a comet's tail is basically a cosmic bad hair day, always whipped away from our neighborhood star. Simple, right? Except some cosmic rebel always has to mess things up. Enter 3 i atlas the third ever confirmed interstellar visitor after Oumuamua and 2 i Borisov. Astronomers already expected surprises because this thing hails from outside our cosmic zip code, but nobody expected the kind of surprise that bakes physicists' brains extra crispy. Instead of one tail, or even two, 3 i atlas was suddenly flaunting something wild, a third structure, seemingly pointing right back toward the sun itself. Now, scientifically, that's like watching traffic on the highway and suddenly seeing a car going in reverse at full speed, weaving through oncoming asteroids and solar particles. How? Why? Are the laws of nature different for visitors from other star systems? Today, we're unpacking what astronomers discovered, why everyone started arguing about optical illusions versus real cosmic craziness, 
and what exactly it means for our hunt for alien worlds. It all started when sharp-eyed telescopes from Hubble to the mammoth mirrors at Keck Observatory zoomed in on 3 i atlas At first, nothing too strange. A faint coma, a tail stretching away from the sun. Great. But as the weeks went on, new images started showing a bizarre extra feature, like a faint, ghostly limb growing in exactly the opposite direction, right toward the sun. We're talking cosmic selfie arm pointed at the universe's brightest flashlight. The headlines exploded. Is the anti-tail real or just a trick of the eye? For most comets, sometimes a third tail can look like it's pointing the wrong way, but it's usually just an illusion caused by how sunlight reflects and by the observer's angle. The European Space Agency even has a cheat sheet. The anti-tail is often just a wide spread of dust seen edge on. Its fan shape just happens to line up with Earth's view. But this? Observatories checking from wildly different locations saw the same thing. Models and simulations failed to dissolve the mystery with math. Then, Harvard's astronomy team jumps in, saying, not just a trick. There's material flowing sunward. This isn't just a few rebellious dust grains taking the scenic route. Models show a persistent plume of heavier particles, moving opposite to what radiation pressure should allow. It's like gravity, sunlight, and whatever's powering that outflow got together to rewrite the rulebook. But why would this comet act so differently? Let's take a fun detour into comet anatomy. A normal comet's hairy star appearance comes from volatile ices and gas streaming out uncontrollably whenever sunlight gives the green light. The ion tail? That's charged particles pushed into a blue streamer by the solar wind. The main dust tail? It's like the wake behind a speedboat. Sunlight sends the dust streaming backward. But the anti-tail needs big, fat, lazy dust particles, ones that don't care much about light, so they stick stubbornly to the comet's own orbital path, sometimes lingering as a sort of breadcrumb trail behind the motion. But 3i slash Atlas isn't just showing a coincidence of timing, it's sun-facing. Methinks there's something more at play. Enter NASA with Hubble snapping high-resolution photos that don't just show an anti-tail, but actually reveal a sunward plume, a phenomenon only seen in a handful of history's weirdest comets. The plume emerges directly from the illuminated side of the comet, where the heating causes ices to vaporize and send out a fan shape of ice and CO2 dust grains. Let's make this less academic. Imagine a snowball on a frying pan. When you shine a blowtorch, the sun, on one side, you get more wild vapor on that side, which can shoot out heavier, sticky grains that don't get pushed around easily by solar wind. In the vacuum of space, those grains can form a temporary tail, but in the wrong direction. Meanwhile, some experts still say perspective plays a role. Maybe, just maybe, Earth's view lines up the dust trail in a way that creates this cosmic magic trick. Still, coordinated observations, changing perspectives, and independent confirmations keep stacking up. Back at the Keck Observatory, a team led by famed exoplanet hunter Linda V delves into the spectral soup of three i atlases coma. They find unusual ratios of nickel, CO2, and a shocking amount of cyanogen, a molecule that's deadly on Earth, but apparently quite at home drifting between the stars. Add in the near total lack of iron, still, and you've got a stew straight from the recipe book of another solar system. Why does this matter? Well, anti-tails and weird chemistry mean we're actually seeing how star systems far from ours build comets, and perhaps planets, differently. Every strange outflow is like a time capsule from another sun's nursery. It's cosmic paleontology. Only our fossils are glowing and racing toward the sun at breathtaking speed. Funny thing, some internet theorists have gone full X-Files, suggesting the anti-tail might be an intentional signal, a navigation marker, even alien exhaust. There is, of course, no direct evidence for any of that, but hey, no one can prove it isn't, right? Meanwhile, science marches on, and the more likely answer is the physics of how ice is sublimate, how dust behaves, and a dash of random cosmic chaos. As 3 i atlas sweeps closer to perihelion, its closest brush with the sun, astronomers worldwide scramble to collect more data hoping to catch the anti-tail as it develops, morphs, or vanishes. Each frame from Hubble, each spectrum from Keck, 
brings us closer to understanding the mechanics behind this once-in-a-lifetime visitor. Will the anti-tail persist? Will new types of molecules show up? Or will the comet crumble, leaving only data and awe in its wake? But if you think the anti-tail is where this story ends, you've clearly never watched a space mystery all the way to the credits and never stuck around for that bonus Marvel style scene the universe always slips in. Imagine for a second, you're not just a passive observer with a pair of binoculars on your terrace. You're riding shotgun with three ice slash atlas. You're moving at breakneck speed, brushing past planets, dodging solar wind, turning back for one final cosmic selfie with our sun before heading out into the endless dark between the stars. As the anti-tail blazes sunward, like a galactic artist sketching a new arrow on the map of the solar system, astronomers on the ground fight sleep deprivation and eat their 20th cup noodle of the night, waiting to see if this tail will vanish, split, or grow even odder under the next breath of solar wind. In research labs from NASA to China, scientists scramble algorithms, argue over whether their readings are artifact or artifacture, and joke that perhaps this is just the universe reminding us that every time we think we've built a perfect model, space takes it and makes an origami crane out of it. And while all this is happening, university students flood Reddit and Discord, arguing the wildest possible scenarios. Could the anti-tail be a cosmic flag? Or a message sent by ancient civilizations that watched their own version of three I slash Atlas thousands of years before us? Could future Earthlings use these tales as navigation points in distant space travel, with stories and superstitions springing up around them, like ancient navigators did with the constellations long before telescopes and satellites? You know you're living through history when even memes can't keep up. Most crucially, the data flowing back from these observations won't just impact cometary science. Each dust grain, every strange chemical uncovered, can teach us about how planets might form or fail to form all across the Milky Way. The mystery of the anti-tail opens doors to new research on planetary disks, whether on distant comets, and the massive question, how many other star systems are sending their own intruders careening through the darkness right now? And if one night you find yourself outside, gazing up with nothing but wonder and maybe a flashlight app, remember your part of this story too. When children of the next century learn about the anti-tail of three I slash Atlas, they'll read notes and jokes from all around the world, Brazilian sky guides, Japanese live streamers, telescopers in Namibia, meme makers from Kansas. This comet and its impossible tale joins the great tapestry of cosmic events that draw humanity out from its everyday bustle and unite us under the same endless night. So send us your thoughts, your fears, your late night, what if questions about this wandering star? Has the universe just pranked us or did it leave a secret just out of reach? And if someday astronomers announce a comet with tails that form the outline of a smiley face or that flickers in binary code, you'll know three I slash Atlas did it all first. No matter what comes next, this comet is a reminder that the universe is alive with stories we can't predict. So as you share your theories and enjoy these cosmic headlines with us, remember, sometimes the best thing about space is simply that it refuses to act normal. Thanks for chasing the impossible with us. Don't forget to comment your favorite wild comet theory below because science advances one strange question at a time. And as always, stay curious, stargazers. The universe clearly isn't done surprising us yet. Thanks for supporting our space adventure. Drop your best crazy theory in the comments. Who knows, maybe you'll be the first to crack the mystery of the universe's most rebellious comet. And if 3i slash Atlas somehow grows a third or even a fourth tail, don't worry. We'll be here, narrating the madness, one orbit at a time.